Hey everyone, we're gonna do something really interesting today. So this, as you can tell, is the Mustang. I can't remember which variant exactly, but it's got something very special that really suits this map really nicely. Oh, oh, what's this? This video is now sponsored by Asus, powered by NVIDIA GeForce RTX. Much love to you, Asus, for supporting what we do here. They have some exciting stuff to talk about with their latest 20 series graphics cards, powered by NVIDIA GeForce RTX. Let me tell you guys, I've had a 2080 Ti for over a year now, and I think there's a clear generational improvement since even the 10 series cards, and I thought that was already a huge jump from the 9 series. So this really is just a great time. Here's what surprised me though. What makes Asus graphics cards different from others on the market is their manufacturing process known as auto extreme technology the industry's first fully automated production process which is cool because did you know most gpus have manufactured parts of the graphics cards that are built by hand which introduces the possibility of human error whereas auto extremes process is 100 automated and all of this means more precision, more control, more gaming, less chances you can fail as a gamer. NVIDIA GeForce RTX graphics cards are powered by NVIDIA Turing, the world's most advanced GPU architecture for gamers. Experience today's biggest blockbuster games such as Minecraft RTX like never before with the visual fidelity of real-time ray tracing and the ultimate performance of AI-powered DLSS 2.0. So, what are you waiting for guys? Click the link in the description and check it out! I can't remember which variant exactly, but it's got something very special that really suits this map really nicely, and it's the high altitude package. If you don't know, this map is notorious for having the lowest flight ceiling. Look, I'm stalling already. Hold on, I'll be stalling any second now. Oh no, don't stall out of the combat area. I'm just trying to demonstrate this to you guys. Yeah, see, I'm stalling now, and look how high I am. If you've played this game before, you would know that this height, this flight ceiling, this height ceiling is a joke. What kind of height ceiling is that? But you'd be even lower if you didn't have this high altitude package, which I've got on board. That was a high rate of fire right there. I think I've got the light machine guns. I've also got two 20 millimeter cannons. Uh, I'm not sure what's best for killing infantry. Certainly for killing planes, I want to be using these light machine guns at close range. But I've also got two 250 pound bombs, so I guess we're going to throw that on some armor, but we're really not going to do anything. I guess it's better suited on infantry. The only way they're going to work in against armor is if the armor is like on 10% health. Like, look at that guy. He's got loads of health. It's almost going to be a waste of my time, but let's do it anyway. Bombs away. Vehicle hit 38. One of them was on target, one was right next to him. Yeah, see, look, it's just gonna take forever. But I did see a guy running through the field right next to him. Where was he? Never mind, let's get this guy. Woo! That high rate of fire is pretty satisfying. I wonder if I can get some cheeky kills like that. Hey, buddy. Shall I be your escort? and protect you in the skies. Now, this high altitude package is gonna be so interesting because given that low flight ceiling, just imagine I'm in a dogfight, right? And we're both just flying at this altitude. He's probably stalling whilst I'm able to turn. He's just going to be screwed, I reckon. So I can't wait to find those interesting dogfights. Let's go straight for air superiority then, just to encourage a dogfight. So we're going to have to kill this young 88 Poor guy. He's just a casualty of war. He's not the real enemy. The real enemy is the BF-109. I do have a weakness to my plan, by the way. And my weakness is the BF-109 G6 that someone has chosen with the specific upgrade to match mine. And that is also a high altitude package. You can get it on the G6. So I really hope no one does that. Come on, where are the enemy air force? That is the question. Can we get a cheeky kill on Delta? Looks like we're contesting Delta. See, this is why I missed the stealth rounds. Because look at all that dirt flying in the air. As you saw from the last video, stealth rounds would have been perfectly suited for that scenario right there. I'm going to get those resupplies. You cannot fly around this god-awful Fliegerfaust infested map. You cannot do it without max repairs at all times. Anytime you dip below max repairs, you better get back to base and re repair that plane. Come on, where's the enemy air force? Anyway, let's fly around and see if we can get some more kills on the ground while we wait. 
for someone to uh, spawn. Okay, I can see this guy's traces. Wow, Fleek Faust. Better <laughs> run back and get the repairs because the Fleek Faust. What can you do? <laughs> you can't do anything. I am seeing a plane in the sky. Now's my time. Now is my time to shine. Let's get max repairs. All good. Let's climb. Get ready for this fight. Where are you, BF109? I saw you in the air earlier. There you are. Here we go. Now, with all the Fliegerfaust on the ground, this is going to be a real challenge. But let's try and stay high just so we can sort of lure him to this altitude. He doesn't know we're on him, though. We're going to just fight him immediately. Okay, he knows we're on him now. He's hopefully going to be uh, competent enough to evade. Yeah, there we go. To be honest, this wasn't the scenario I was looking for. Man, these guns are shredding him. Did you see how quickly he went on fire? That was satisfying. Hey, we ranked up to level four. I'll take it. Gotta love that sound. Okay, hopefully he'll be back and come straight for me. And we can have the fight of the century. Right then. Look at that light tank. I've got my two 50-pound bombs ready. Let's get him. Vehicle hit 62. We did better there. Oh, hello. BF-109. I'm kind of trying to do first person just because it's so satisfying. But you can't really do it when you're uh, pulling up because <laughs> you can't really see below you. Oh, no, he's pulling back on the throttle. I've got to stop messing around or he'll beat me. There we go. Sorry, buddy. Now, that is a cool scene right there. Oh no, he's gonna hit. He almost killed me by accident. Yeah, what I was saying is like, look at the cockpit. If you're pulling up, you really can't track the enemy, can you? But it is for effect to be able to do that. In a dogfight. It looks so cool killing people in first person view. Mate, this, this plane is actually quite cool. On this map, it's quite fun. I can get those cheeky infantry kills. Whenever I please. I'm not really being harassed by AA. <laughs> but uh, if I do get harassed, I feel like I'm going to be such a low profile. I can probably get away with some, you know, wide corkscrews. Probably jinx myself now, haven't I? Here we go. What's that? Enemy BF-109? Indeed. Let's go for him. I'm stalling. Ridiculous flight ceiling. I wonder why DICE did this. I've lost him. Oh, there he is. There he is. So I guess at range I want to use these 20 mils. In fact, I'm going to start letting him know I'm on him here so we can have a bit of a fairer fight at altitude. And then I'm going to try and leverage this high altitude package. <laughs> Please pull up. Please. That'll make it fun. Oh no, he's got a friend! No! I don't want that. Oh, no, I'm a dead man. Whoo! I am being circled by sharks in the water here. This is a bad day indeed. I've got no chance. Whoo! Get me out of here! I'm gonna die! I'm too young to die! I'm going to try and fly low and hopefully they don't see me over here. It's my only hope. Yep, they've lost me. I think one's just spotted me. Okay, we're going to have to we're going to have to come at this one on one. <laughs> we can't have a fight with two of them. We've got no chance. One's really hunting me here. I'm just going to pull him to my base. And look at that wingman. Hey, hello wingman. Actually, he's not a fighter. He's not going to help me, is he? Here we go. Okay. We've got to fight in action here. Let's do this. Let's do this. Hey. Come up to altitude, buddy. That's the plan. That's the idea. Please. He flew all the way over here. And he's like, crap. Where's my friend? Oh, you legend. What is that save? Come on, dude. 
<laughs> what a guy! Oh man, that plane got bailed out. <laughs> that pilot got bailed out. Right, let me let me get back in the air here. Okay, we're back in the air. There's only 40 tickets left. These games do not last very long, it seems. Must be the whole conquest thing that I'm not used to. Right, where's those planes? I'm stalling, which is not a good idea. I'm going to drop a cheeky couple of bombs on that light tank. Engine disabled. Here we go. Whoa, he's high altitude. He's got the same high altitude package. I've already done vehicle hit 81. These guns are no joke. He's flexing his high altitude package, though. He's kind of ruined my plan. <laughs> Not really a fair fight, but it looks and sounds cool, right? And what is that? A Yonkers 88. Let's get him. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Yeah, we got a... I think it's a Werble Wind. No, actually, it was uh, not quite the spam that you would get from a Werble Wind, so I don't actually think it is. It's got to be a stationary AA. I reckon. So let's fly at a, quite a high altitude, see if we can get him at altitude. Oh, no, I've, I can only drop one bomb at a time right now. Yeah, he's right there on Echo. Let's get him, because if we're going to have a dogfight, he's going to completely ruin my day. We have to proactively kill him. I keep stalling. I feel like I'm much lower than I used to be. Okay, bombs away. Please work. Otherwise, I'm out here in the water. <laughs> I'm a dead man. <laughs> Why did my bombs miss? Man, such is the life of a pilot in Battlefield 5 these days. You can't really <laughs> do much against anti-air. Most of the time, it's quite overwhelming. That's the state of the game that they've left it in. And that's the, you know, that's the state that DICE have left it in. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. What do you guys think of my idea? We didn't quite get to do it, sadly. You know, we didn't get to flex the high altitude. And that guy was countering me with his own high altitude. It didn't quite work out the way I imagined. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you next time. Peace. Also, finally, thank you again to our sponsor, Asus, for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to click the link in the description to check out their stuff.